A lawyer representing the family of Shamima Begum, who left East London for Syria in 2015 when she was 15 years old, has written to the Home Secretary accusing the government of failing to protect her from being trafficked by the Islamic State group. The letter, which has been seen by the BBC, claims the Begum family wasn't told that their daughter had been interviewed by the police after another girl at her school went to Syria in 2014. The family is calling on Sajid Javid to reverse his decision to revoke their their daughter's citizenship. Hannah Yusuf has this report. Stripped of her British citizenship and held in a Syrian refugee camp, Shamima Begum faces an uncertain future. She left her home in East London with two school friends, despite having been spoken to by the police. The school gave the girls letters to give to their parents, but the letters never reached them and the Bethnal Green girls slipped out of the UK. But according to her lawyer, Shamima Begum was targeted and trafficked by Islamic State. ISIS have a propaganda machine where they reached out to the world uh, into the mobile phone of Shamima Begum and managed to groom her, you know, giving her the advice that she needed to successfully, as a 15-year-old girl, evade UK police, counter-terrorism, cross a border between Syria and Turkey and find herself betrothed under an ISIS ceremony to a 23-year-old man. Mr Okunji's letter to the Home Office cites failures by the UK authorities to stop the three girls from leaving for Syria. It claims the families should have been adequately warned the girls were at risk of being trafficked for exploitation by IS fighters. Very good. Others agree more could have been done, but say Shamima Begum has to take some responsibility. She went, she was there for a long time, she now wants to exit now that the group is no longer as powerful as it used to be. Uh, and it remains to be seen what kind of role she played in the group when she was there. The Home Office won't comment on Shamima Begum's case, but says decisions to deprive individuals of their citizenship are not taken lightly. And it's not the only body facing criticism today. Shamima Begum's supporters say she was failed by her school, the local authority and the Met Police. Her family continue to challenge the Home Office decision in the courts, but say the little hope they had when she was first found has been stolen from them. Hannah Yusuf, BBC News.